Hello everybody, my name is Afnend. I was away for a vacation that I forgot to mention in the comments section. Like, I literally thought I pinned a comment before I left. Like, hey guys, you know, I'll be gone for like seven days, maybe ten days. That's it, uh, I'm okay, I'm all fine. So I've been playing, uh, obviously, leagues for the past month, you could say. Uh, this is Group Ironman, so I'm gonna continue playing on Group Ironman. Leagues were nice, but I felt like I've done whatever I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, Group Ironman, we are... Wait, let me check the rank. We are rank 11 when i left we were like rank 19 i think and i thought okay so i'm not playing i think alone was playing also the leagues and then i thought okay well definitely we're gonna be like rank 30 and we're gonna have to climb back out but no uh, like if you go to cool cats uh, the always i would say oh there's doug with low total level and here he is now with 1.8k total level and not only that nick is 1.9k now i still kept it I haven't played for the whole month i i I, I could still wait actually it was a month and a week still kept my total level quite high also looking at the total levels there's quite a bit to go now because they are a little bit slower you know one total level is not the same as it was like a couple months ago they just take longer to level up so 30 total you could say for rank 9 because both of them are kind of the same depending how other people are gonna play we could get to rank 6 maybe in a couple weeks i don't know probably uh no. So when I left for leagues, the only thing that I did on this account is I got from level 89 to 94 range at the Nightmare Zone. That, that That's it. it. It is a lot. It is five levels at quite high level at Angel already. I was just AFKing with broad arrows. Like you know, for five, six days or something and I just stopped because I was like, okay, I, I gotta focus on leagues. I It's just distracting me if I play on two accounts at the same time. You know, when I was doing Nightmare Zone, you actually pay half the money if you have the quest cape. And I did have it on this account, but when I was away, there is a new quest that was released, Land of the Goblins. So I noticed that when I was going to Nightmare Zone, I had to pay like 26, 28k instead of like 14k that I have to pay usually. So I thought, why not complete Land of the Goblins? And that means I have the quest cape back. I'm very sure. Yeah, looks like everything is completed here. There's a new mini game, but I'm not going to do it now. Yes. The Questscape is back. So I just talked to the guys, you know, just catching up on what people have been doing, what the current goals are at the moment. And apparently Alone did 750 Chaos Fanatic kills and he did not get a single Odium shot. It's so weird. It's like curse. We don't have a single Odium shield made because nobody got the shard from Chaos Fanatic. That that guy specifically so you could say the current longer term goal is working on next just getting little upgrades like uh, maybe an archer's ring or uh, suffering because i don't think everyone has that you know things like odium shards and so on and uh, like i said we have armadil chest plate now armadil helmet so it is going very well you completed 200 wilderness tasks and received 625 points i got 1.8k points on this account w where do you use it is it like for later to skip the task like if you get to hydra or like Wait, can I do Kraken? No, I cannot do Kraken, but I'm very close to Kraken. It's mainly for technical webs because we do have five tridents. All of them came from Nick. You're yeah, gonna have to cancel the jellies though and get the spider task instead. So the magic shortbow has the same speed as a crossbow, so you can actually uh, stuck Venonitis like this without going all the way here. This is what I usually would do with a team, but I'm wondering how good is it to do it with just a magic shortbow. The only way to make Venonitis stuck like this is by just using rune arrows or a crossbow or anything that has the same weapon speed. That's the only way he's gonna just stuck like this. It's... Wow, it's really bad. I thought it's gonna be a little bit better with level 94 range, which is also potted, but... Nope. Kreyas Cat received a Xenoid Shard. I don't even know what we're missing at this point. That is massive though. I think this is our 9th or 10th Xenoid. Wait, wasn't that bad, I think? It was, uh... Ah, uh, it's... I mean, yeah, it is 4 minutes. That is pretty goddamn slow. Look, 2 minutes, 12 seconds, not bad. The only problem is, you can see I got only 40 spiders left to kill. It's because initially I went to the spider hill with a blowpipe and it's like, pum, pum, pum. And I'm like, wait... I'm quite high at range level, maybe we could try Venom at this. This one took 3.33, you got Laransky as well. Oh my god, ah, no, no, oh, did the sound was playing, no. Anything above 1 million, I can still hear it. Listen to this, it's still on. It was a Snapdragons, it was not a Dragon Pickaxe. 1.2 million for 100 grams Snapdragon, 12k each, man, this... Next, ah uh, yes, the Onyx ball tips. 
Half a million. Well, I get 87 Slayer now. I could uh, try to get the Kraken test me before the tentacle. Do we even have a single one? It's not really that necessary though. But if I do get Krakens, then that would be great. Wait, is this even possible to do? If I go to rewards, because I just got Hellhounds, I would love to store them. And eventually, once I get to level 90 Slayer, I can immediately claim the task and just kill Cerberus just immediately after I get to level 90 without wasting a bunch of points. Yeah, I cannot do it, can I? No, this is only cancel a task, which will cancel Hellhounds. I have greater demons stored, you know, if we go to Zami or something, it's like, oh yeah, I get a Slayer task, you know, but I cannot unstore the task. So I literally have to, I don't know, cancel a task then, unstore the task for zero points, and then either do greater demons, which probably I will because it's AFK, but yeah, next time I get Hellhounds, I will store them uh, the proper way. Also, I talked with a team with the current goals and it is still next. Apparently Alone did 750 KC at the Chaos Fanatic and he didn't get a single Odium Shard. We still haven't made a single Odium Shield at all. Nobody got them. I, I have myself like 150 KC, I think. So I think I'm gonna try my own luck in this place. Current kill count is 129. 58 seconds to kill one. I think is good kills an hour, except that I don't have any prey pot. So every time or every two kills, I'll have to go and pray in the altar. What is that hard comment has praying to the god? Was it like to kill 10 without leaving wood or something like that? Man, I... I thought it was a pet or something. So I've done 75 kills in this session. I got over 200 KC now. Nothing. No, no. Not a single land malediction. Not Odium. I think I'll leave this for now because I'm running out of scales. We really don't have the many left. It's 634. I think that's our all scale set we have literally. I decided to do a little bit of skilling. I've been AFKing these magic trees for the past day and a half or so. I got from level 80 to 82 and a half. I'm wondering how many magic logs I got right now. Okay, I had them before, obviously. This is, yeah, I think I had like 1.5k before and now it's 3.2k in total. I want to fletch them myself. I want to get all the way to 80. I kind of want to get those base 80 stats. Now, it may be that other teammates have bowstrings, but I'm going to do my own flags because when I was killing Zalar I still have like 11,000. I will convert all of them with Lunars, but currently I am on standard spellbook. I realized I could just be using Lunars Isle Teleport to fairly quickly swap the spellbook, but I want to try something else. I'm currently in the Redis Cat world. He's uh, the highest construction level in the team with 85 construction, and recently they made that you can teleport to your teammate's house. I think this is only for group Iron Man. Previously, Iron Man could not enter other people's houses, but group Iron Man now can. Just a few days ago, they made this. You can choose which one, which of the teammates you want to teleport to, and because he's the only one, you have to be in the same world, though. And the guy has to be online, so you cannot, unfortunately, teleport if someone's offline, which sucks, but I can just go teleport inside like this, and because he's 85 construction with all the boosts, we have the best rejuvenation pool right here, and he's not in the house, by the way, so he doesn't have to be, he can be leveling up Slayer, and I can teleport to his house, but the moment he logs off or hops worlds, I'll be kicked off. We also have the altar with everything, because I got the scepter previously, so he was able to make all of these out, so I can venerate and choose whatever I want. I can go to Arceus, I can go to Lunar. Wait, do I have uh, Ancient? Yes, Ancient also exists. Th the highest level right here. Altar of Occult. I wanted to say I don't have a teleport anywhere, but oh, I guess Rada's Blessing, but I can use also this Ornate Box to teleport to Edgeville. So the current total level is 1861. I want to see how many total levels I can get today and just climb those ranks up in the high scores. I'm not sure how quick this is to spin all of this flax into bolstering by using Lunar, so I may not do all of them, but just the amount that I need, which is like 3.2 thousand. Uh, wait, did you put it now or? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, I see, I see. Because uh, I thought you did it before, I just couldn't find them. So I think I thought someone yoinked or you took him back, so. No, okay. I waited in case someone yoinked. I wanted to do it like now, like when you're like in the call or something. Yeah, so I think we calculated that this will get me all the way to 80, yeah? Yes, I believe so. So I decided to convert all of the flags into bowstrings because I realized I need 85 fletchings just to use my magic logs, unless I make short bows, which are still okay, but they alk for like 500 GP less and it would be 1.5 mil loss and less fletching XP as well. So I got these darts from Dark World Order that will get me all the way to 80, but I still need five levels. You seen the maple stack in the shared. I think uh, two of them, I think it was Doug and Dark decided to give me a bunch of their miscellaneous logs. 
Yeah, okay, dude. I, I don't need that many. But uh, what the hell? <laughs> dude, that was so many. There's also a thousand magics, but I don't think that's for me just like, I don't know, it just keeps in the storage. Um, not gonna take everything. I could be using a calculator, but how about I'm gonna take just for whatever boastings I have currently, which is around 8,000 maples. That's all I can use. But if I really need to, I will get more of them just to get all the way to 8 to 5 so I can finally fletch my magics. This is just insane. I forgot I'm playing group item in, and I don't have to get everything myself. It's just like you just ask, and if they have, than they have. Uh, by the way, I'm using this plugin. I never used it before, but it's very nice. I don't have to like keep doing this, you know? Oh, how many do I have left? Like, oh, okay, okay. It shows right here. You cannot click in here. It's just like transparent, but it shows what you have in the inventory and you can just cast a spell. And then now I know that it's time to bank and then bam, just bang, bang, boom, and cast again. Oh, and I forgot to mention that by doing certain tasks, you can unlock more group storage. That's why I had to scroll. There's like so much available right now. And there's this button you can click unlock in here. This is for group item only. So it, there are simple tasks like equip a rune playbury. That's it. You get like free storage for doing that. But then some of them are higher, like have a member of group Ironman after achieving 99 in either mining, fishing, woodcutting, hunter, or farming. None of us have it, so it's not unlocked. There's a bunch of them. There's still a bunch of space to be unlocked, but a bunch of it is unlocked already. Alone did all of the hard tasks, so we have this, this, and this unlocked just because of him. Not everyone has to do it. One person does it, and it's unlocked for the whole group. There's still 65 spaces to be unlocked by just doing random tasks, but they're kind of high level. But let's continue, and let's see how high I can get my fletching level. Current level, 77. Oh, here we go, 94 magic. I no longer have to boost for vengeance. And also ice barrage. Well, that's one total level. I think we're one total level away from rank 10. And maybe we even have it right now, but I'm going to keep going. We can do something like this. You can see I'm gaining 68,000 fleshing XP an hour. Um, <clears throat> Coming from leagues, that's very low, but it's it's okay. You know, I'm fletching maple logs, but you can expect from this. I've been doing this for quite a long time, as you can see by XP gain in total was like seven hours or so uh this is time to finish because yeah i thought it's gonna go a little bit quicker i thought oh, i'm gonna get 85 fletching because i got all supplies i got all the way to 80 and that's it almost 81 you could say but those adidas i still have them in the bank so when i use them tomorrow i think in the next video i'm easily gonna get to 85 plus fletch all those magic lumbos maybe even alk them i don't know we'll see what the goals are we have to go here and yes we are a rank 10 at the moment and we're fairly close to rank 9 especially if i get like five or six fletching levels tomorrow and i'm very sure other people will get some levels as well as long as this team does not get any total levels we could be rank nine i have to say that the whole team did extremely well i was gone for a month and a half because of leagues and then the vacation and so, somehow we just climbed up all the way to rank 10 when we were like i think we were barely front page at the time i mean look at all this i can't wait to get the total level up even higher than this i have plenty of skills at, at, at level 70 like room crafting is 66 yes i would go even for room crafting if it's easy levels why not do that? Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And hopefully, I will see you very soon. And you don't have to wait for two weeks for a new video. Thank you. And bye-bye. And I'm going to keep fletching now. It's AFK. It's nice. Okay, bye-bye.